And Steve Price joins us now. Steve, no surprise, we've gotten hundreds of tweets today, Facebook messages, emails about your comments, overwhelmingly negative. Do you have any regrets? No, because I think I accurate, accurately described uh, how Van Batten was behaving. I mean, I'm not going to be verbaled by somebody over such an important issue, and she suggested I would be part of those jokes, and I think you know me well enough, Carrie, to know that I, I would never be a part of those jokes, and I never joke about those issues, and I take the issue of domestic violence very seriously. I've sat next to you in that studio for five years, and I wouldn't have been there for five minutes if I had an attitude like that. I'm just disappointed today that this story has become about me and I think all of the energy that has been uh, put into this discussion today should be put into solving the problem as opposed to just piling in on top of me. I don't think that achieves anything. Steve, this is a really tricky one for me because people often ask me what you're like. People often say to me, is Steve Price as aggressive on the desk, as argumentative in real life, is he as grumpy, is he such a prick? And I often go, no. <laughs> Well, no, I often say no. He's really lovely. He's really respectful to me. We have great conversations. I think a lot of what happens on the desk is theatre. I think you would agree it's theatre. But I don't think there's any room for theatre when we're talking about violence against women. One woman is dying every week. I think this is an issue where there is no room for debate and creating good TV. A man talked to you about the death of his sister and I was so surprised that you didn't immediately want to show compassion and use that time you had to constructively and positively talk about something that I would have believed that you really believed in stopping, violence against women. I was told late yesterday afternoon that there'd be a question last night about the Eddie Maguire uh, ice joke that happened at the MCG, which uh, on your show and our show uh, I uh, criticised two weeks ago in exactly the way I criticised it last night. The way I was ambushed last night was that the producer who said that that question would be asked didn't tell me that the person asking the question would be the victim of such horrific family violence. Now, he's reached out to me today and he's asked me to come and meet him, which is what I will do. I've also today spoken to the Victorian Minister for Family Violence, Fiona Richardson. Her and I are getting together next week. I've interviewed her for the radio program tonight. So I didn't try and turn anything into theatre, but I'm not going to be verbaled by an aggressive woman sitting next to me who thinks that you can only be upset by domestic violence if you're female. That was the point I was making. Men can be just as upset about this as anybody else. Now, I think that uh, more good will come out of this than not, and I'm just so disappointed that it all became about me. Now, I'm an easy target, and I can cop it, no big deal. I will use this to improve the relationships that we have in discussing this issue, both on the radio and the television program, and I think good will come out of it. I guess, Steve, the thing is, the second chance you had the opportunity to acknowledge this man and his experience, you still brought it back to defending Eddie. And I think the issue is, this is not about Eddie, this is not about you. And that's the point she was trying to make last night. This is not about you, this is not about me. These are, this is about the women who are dying, and that's great that you're meeting with these people. But you have the chance here to help create this change that, that Terrain was talking about. But I didn't make it about me. Van Batten made it about me. She tried to suggest that I would be uh, somehow involved in a joke like that, and you know I wouldn't be. So she turned it on me. I mean, she had uh, uh, clearly uh, an objective to make me the bad guy. That's OK. That's her, that's her stick. That's what she does. So, you know, good on her. But I'm not going to fall for the trap of me being the big victim here. I I'll use this as a positive, and I will talk about family violence like I have for 30 years on the media products that I've been on on radio and television and in print. I don't need to defend my record. I'm not being defensive because I don't have anything to be defensive about. My record stands for itself in this area. I think part of the issue is when she tried to move on, you still wanted her to have the argument about whether you specifically had been involved in a joke like that in the past. But all that aside, you've said that you accurately described how she was behaving. Now, I'm not going to get into that argument, but the way you described it is actually the issue by choosing to de describe her as hysterical. When you used that word, were you aware of just how loaded that term is? Were you aware of the overtones? What are, the, are there words that you can use to describe men and women that are different, are there, Wally? Well, actually, in the case of hysterical, that's historically exactly true, yeah. Um, well, what I was trying to describe is what was happening next to me. I, whether it had been you sitting there or Carrie sitting there, I would have used exactly the no, same word. I understand word. that, but just using that word to describe me would be different because for 4,000 years women were described as hysterical as a way of trying to say that they were irrational, incapable of being reasonable because they had ovaries. I mean, hysteria 
the, the Latin root of it is womb. That's as why I, you have a hysterectomy. As I just said, the, I would have used the same word about you or Carrie. No, no, but what I'm saying is it's different when yeah, you're But you're not, you're not hearing me. I would have said that about Carrie if she'd acted like that woman had last night. I have no knowledge of the background of the word hysteria. I was describing her as hysterical because I think she was. But the idea that this has been a word that has been used to try to silence women for a long time, I, I accept that you might say you weren't aware of that fact. Let's just take that as a given. But now that you are... Do you think or do you accept that it's an inappropriate way to respond to a woman who's speaking, particularly when they're talking about attitudes prevalent in society and in media that belittle women and limit their ability to speak? No, I don't. You still don't, even no. after that? No, I will describe things as I see them. I, I, I don't need to make judgments about whether it's a man or a woman. If that's the, the way the person's acting, I'll call it out every time. I don't, I don't need to change my behaviour in that area. All right. Steve, thanks for your time. Cheers. I, mean, I think we can all agree the really unfortunate thing is here is just we have a man who bravely tells his story, a horrific story, and immediately it gets swept away and becomes about something else, you know, completely, instead of how the discourse around women you know, affects women. And, and I mean, with the, without bringing it back up, but the, the Eddie thing, it didn't take very long for that to become about a sponsorship of a football club or a presidency of a football club or a radio station apologising. We need to keep our eye on the ball, and I think men need to be open-minded about how this landscape is changing and if you, if you now I mean that word today hysterical when I heard it last night I knew something was not quite right about it but I didn't really completely understand the historical context and now we know you know and hopefully well do we well hopefully we, well, we do but, but, but I just put it to him well and yeah. there's no hopefully there are more open-minded people out there who can take that on board it's got everything these cases have to be we have to learn from them we just have to learn from them and hopefully more people are learning than maybe dismissing. I hope so.